Have you ever wondered why some people get sicker than others after exposure to a virus or environmental toxicant? Or why certain diseases like autism or schizophrenia tend to run in families? The answers lie in part in the immense genetic diversity that characterizes our species. My name is Michael F. Wells, and my lab at UCLA is working to explain exactly how our genetic differences make us more or less susceptible to diseases. If we are successful, we could potentially unlock targets for preventative or therapeutic treatments and help bring about the personalized medicine revolution. Now, how exactly do we plan on reaching this lofty goal? Well, we have pioneered a new human stem cell-based approach to identify biomarkers of disease and explain their mechanisms of action. This novel system is known as a cell village, and it involves the pooling of cells from dozens to hundreds of different people into the same dish for experimentation. By collecting cells from different people into the same culture, we are able to dramatically scale the size of our experiments while reducing the technical noise that often masks important information. In doing so, we are well powered to discover biomarkers for disease susceptibility and turn this information into action. There are so many diseases that affect us, so where exactly do we begin? We are currently specializing in disorders of the developing brain. Why? Because disruptions of early brain development have lifelong and often irreversible effects. In particular, we are focused on explaining genetic risk for one, environmental toxicants like lead, which by the way affects roughly one half of the US population, two, viruses like Zika and Dengue that are spread by mosquitoes, and three, genetic conditions like autism and schizophrenia. Our vision for the future is that this work will contribute to what we are calling an atlas of human vulnerability, which could help explain human disease at the molecular and cellular levels and hopefully lead to better treatments. At the same time, we hope to further improve cell village technologies so that may, we may one day be able to run clinical trials in a dish to accelerate the discovery of these treatments.